A lot of the same elements that we saw previously. Yeah. Big shift from El Yoya, though. He's going to be the one looking for early ganks. Can't just outmatch the farm speed of a Hecarim this time around. As the final lock-in again will be the GP. Very effective against the Immobile. Is El Yoya is on the Wolves first. You would expect him to go to Grom, but they explode each other out. Does he have the W ranked up? He should. Should be easy in the extended trades, but he might not have enough time to get more procs off. Now the smite comes in. He's trying to heal. He wants that healing, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Inspired running him down. The red buff just simply too powerful. First blood for Inspired. Absolutely. Is he going to give his life for this Grom camp? He's full health now. Devastating charge not too far away. He's running for the hills. Maybe he tries to execute with the flash forward from Elioya. He's not having it. The entire team is here for the collapse. Inspired. It's time to run between the towers, actually. He's going to take them on a I chase. think he lives. A magical but journey. But now his cars are in trouble. Trippy, Trippy. Step forward, Trippy Flash, Ignite the auto, the heal, the Q from Garzi! Oh, if Trippy doesn't go, he does manage to get one. Kaiser, now going to be in trouble as well. Does he have the thick skin cooldown? Oh, he does, does it! For Trimby. It's again, Mad Lions just falling Strongest in the Strongest mid laner in the meta right now. What can he do? He is the difference in this pick and ban. It is Armut now who is in trouble though. Unstoppable on the Hecarim means the Nar does nothing. Hansama grabs another. Broker favored right now. They have a good gold lead in the early game, but maybe, just maybe, those intangibles, those moments, anything Top from side for the Scuttle Crab respawn. Now inspired, ghosts on mid. Humanoid get knocked back for now. It's just getting so much damage. Tries to chunk it out, tries to get anything back. Running for his life, Get ticking. Ooh. Humanoid. Was the previous oh, game. Kaiser could get caught out here. Hansama, is he going to commit the alt though? Very tanky on the Tom Kench. Bombing Cinder offering a lot here. Hansama yes. locked up for now. No protection from him. El Yoyo trying to run forward, but Hansama now peeling back. GP all the midst of everything. El Yoyo charmed up. El Yoyo trying to move forward. Doesn't even have time to get to the shield. Humanoid forced to back away as also well. On the way to set up a dive on Odo. Yeah, we saw this last game as well. The dive top onto the gangplank. Otto Amne did die, but they want to look for the cross map. Madlines might go. Going in, looking to disable the tower. That's the ultimate now coming out. The Nar goes wide. The Odo Amne does not get hit. He is still going to take it down. Good news, down. they move mid. Now they're gonna get this mid tower if the wave comes in in time. Oh, yes, behind Humanoid. Doesn't have the ult to clear the wave, though. Looks like Rogue might want to back off. The Dragon's up, Armut's top side. Both top laners have TP, but Rogue are first to the objective. I don't think Mad Lions can contest. And we are set up for Infernal or Ocean Soul. We thought Mountain was bad, but now we have two, the best two souls in the game if Rogue are able to get to that point. So pressure on the side of Mad Lions. Good news is El Yoya is able to get the Herald on the top side. He should be able to grab this one uncontested off the bot side of the map, whereas Mad Lions only have one ward towards the Herald. And that's the difference when you're a reactive team. You have the top side, uh, the top jungle of Mad Lions. There's really nothing that can stop Trimby from being so liberal in these fights. Herald obviously coming out, traded for the Dragon Orb earlier on. Who has the Mega Nar. Looks like El Yoya's healed up, but look at the items. Larson has two items, Hans has two items. Rage took away, but he doesn't know Odo Wamne's in the area. Armut could be in trouble. Mega Nar might not be enough. It's not coming in quick enough. It's disjointed. Mad Lions now pulling away. They want to make use of the Megan. The back line's not here for Mad. Forward, Mad Lions are split, and they are being torn to pieces. The ultimate comes out from Armut, but it is too little, too late. Mad will grab a consolation kill, but this dragon is going down in favor of Rogue. And soul point for Rogue as well with an ocean rift. It is rough for the Mad Lions. We saw them again see a window where one player can go in, and this happened last game too. Mad Lions are feeling... Yes, it is only 3k, but those triple drakes have to be in the back of Mad's mind right now. If they lose another team fight in three minutes, that will be Ocean Soul for Rogue. Yeah, and Rogue haven't changed much in terms of comp. As they say, Inspired goes in. Edge goes in, Karzi on the backside. Now it's going to be Kaiser isolated. Nobody to save the Tom Kench. He can't eat himself, and he's not going to make it out to safety. Rogue going to grab one kick kill, but that's Megan a Megan coming in. Megan R on the way. All eyes on Arma. What can he get done? The leap forward, the stride breaker. It's not enough. He's walking, but he just doesn't have the movement speed. Hansama walking Here he away. goes. Pulled back into the wall. Humanoid leaping in. Mad Lions. They know when they have a shot, and they take it. Larson trying to turn back, but that is a fight for Mad Lions. That is the moment. That is what they needed. That is the shutdown for Shockwave. Human. The Orianna first pick, the denial from game one, is the one that finds the re-engage. And they managed to find the fight. That Mega Nar can take all the camps. And of course, be around for all those extra souls dropping. You're just continuing to stack the range. And it's that threat, too, that eventually becomes so hard for Hans, Larson, any of these champions sort of get into range to actually trade you out. Yeah, and the big deal now is Rogue's carries don't have flash anymore. And Mad Lions have control. 40 seconds on the Dragon. They're using this first Baron to crack open the tier twos. Push Rogue into their base, deny the Ocean Soul point, keep the game going for longer, and push the advantages maybe to the next Baron. Because, uh, of course, getting through the Drakes quickly is exactly what Rogue wants. I think Mad Lions just want to deny the Drake now because they have full control of the game. They have the Baron, they can push in waves, and Rogue smartly decide not to contest. They don't have flash on their carries. Let's trade it for a top tier one. Yeah. Although it's not the biggest objective, it's something. Instead of just watching them take it and trying to poke and prod at some kind of contest. Yeah, Rogue not really in a position to be able to step forward. Does he get the barrels off? He does, but it doesn't clear the back line, so this turret will end up falling. Larson 
Jason still stuck in that mid lane. Does not seem interested. Rogue take a too aggressive path into the vision, into the river. Oh, They're no. gonna pull the trigger. Oh, yeah, stepping forward, backing off, going right back in. They managed to pick up the jungler. They managed to take him down. That's no jungler for the following fight, but it's trading the backside. He's locked up three. Oh, yeah, running for the hills, but it's Hansama. Will not find the arrow Get so in. far. Eyes on Armut, eyes on Humanoid. What can they do to win this team fight? Not enough rage quite yet, but. Baron getting burned down. Rogue just going to take okay. it. Head lions, or are they going to force a fight? Oh, yo, yo, on the way in. Armut leaping forward. Stridebreaker used the leap back out to safety, but he has no hop anymore. The flash still up and available. Building towards Mega. He sees him in a pinch. This He's not in the water, but it's not enough. They push him back to the team. Armut, what can he get done? He swallows. He goes. He lands two. It's El Yoyo over the wall from downtown. But Nor is shut down. The fight. Really is... there for the team fight. You need Armut there as well. It's just not a good look. And right. now Rogue, they have the Baron. They're on the push. Big damage. So inspired. Now going to be in trouble. Knocked down. Karzi incredibly powerful. He's got a lot of souls. He's got Got a lot of range, and Trimby's got to run Whoa. for his life with the damage from Odo. It's too much. Hansom on the flash forward. The shutdown, absolute confidence. Karzi overstays his welcome. Now they're looking to turn, but Humanoid has to be respected. Big overstep from Hansama. What is going on this game? Inspire tries to find a fight without ultimate life. It's called out. God, they're getting run down. Mad Lions are unrelenting. Gnar back into the wall. The victor just gets taken down. Humanoid. That means both teams are on Dragon Soul Point, and if Mad Lions keep control, Rogue are going to be the ones who need to pull Mad Lions all going back to base. They know this next team fight may make or break the game. Available. They're running out of base to Tom Guards as fast as they can. Will they take someone in? It looks like the Tom answer is yes. Hansama has ultimate, though. They Whoa. can immediately try to turn this one. El Yoyo -Yo going to be in trouble. Hansama does a lot of damage, but Kaiser's incredibly tanky. That's Bob with the center ult. That's the finish. El Yoyo -Yo finds the kill. Rogue now running. 12 seconds to the Baron, and they have lost Hansama. Mad, a clutch pick to get things started. Oh, do I'm nice TP'd in. It's a 4v5. Hans is dead for 50 seconds, and this Baron spawning, like you said, Dracos. Mad Lion didn't use too many ultimates in this fight. Just the center and the time can ult, but they still have the shockwave to work with. Larson has the flash. It's all on him if they want to find the fight alongside Oduamne. Look, they've got barrels, they've got spells to play with here, but it's another TP play TP coming in. It's Kaiser. Side. Arma, this time only get the setup. Can he get to the team? Oh, no, back in the midst of everybody. Humanoid with the follow -up. Shockwave finds two. Shockwave finds the carries. Arma leaping forward. Trimby now leaping out to safety, but it is too little, too late. There is no engage. There is no follow up. There is no hope for Rogue around this Baron. It will go to Mad. Mad Lions have seen these fights crystal clear and every single time completely destroyed Rogue seeing that they're overstaying in the top like teleport in take the abyssal voyage in send everything at Rogue they're gonna take the Baron as well yeah such a smart play by Mad Lions we are in. available Hansama is there the damage is there but the setup is not and that means the Mad will move in and they will grab their first inhibitor Rogue holding on for now, but in, in the last no game, no follow-up there. Hansama's ultimate down. That is a massive cooldown for the coming fight. He has no peel left for himself. He needs to rely on Trimby now in the fight to come. Armut getting angrier and angrier. The Gnar up and available soon. He can double bounce across the creeps into Hansama if he wants to, but he's not going to take that opportunity. Instead, holding onto the ult, just threatening from the side, looking to Odawan as he ducks back behind the base gate. That's going to be mid inhibitor down. The wall, 6k. Well, they commit shot. Shockwave misses. goes wide. That's massive. That oh. could be the fight, but Odawan taking Vinch up. Karzi on the way in. Inspire going to find three with the ultimate. Trimby with the follow. They're gonna lock everybody down. Oh, they got going humanoid, in. but Rogue still holding on for now. Rogue fighting into the pitch. Rogue with the GPL that is mad, retreating back into Rogue territory. It is Ocean Soul for Rogue. What a turn! A beautiful team fight from Rogue. They've been losing for the last five, ten minutes. It's felt like pushed back inside their base, but they don't care about vision. They see the team fight. It's a five v five this time, and they get humanoid off the map. Yeah, they had no waves to work with though. They had to base and catch the waves. Rogue have the Ocean Soul. Mad Lions are dead for 40 seconds. Humanoid use flash and got taken down. The engage from Inspired was crucial. The Shockwave misses. Once the Shockwave's down, Rogue can just start running at you. And you can see the Drake was spawning in two seconds. They pulled the trigger and they went for it. Now they're pulling the trigger again with the TP. Still 20 seconds on the mid jungle. Rogue might look for some inhibitors. Now you're gonna have to back off here. They can't afford to contest this one if they die There's here. They no will surely lose the game. They have super minions. It might be over. They have to be careful though. There's a top wave and there's double TP on the side of Mad Lines. Armut needs to get angry very fast. Stridebreaker forward, but he just takes so much damage. Inspired goes in, but Karzi's still alive. Karzi firing back onto Inspired, but that's Hansama's ultimate. That's gonna be it. Armut now stepping forward. He wants to hold onto the base. He wants to end it, but Hansama. It's over. The Nexus. Rogue strike again. 2-0 for Rogue.